internet, it is Steph. Today I am joined by my lovely girlfriend Madison. Hello everyone. So Madison and I have been going strong for a while now. We are going to move in together in only like a week and a half. Yeah, so this is sadly the last video being filmed here. Oh man. But we're super stoked for our new life in LA. Yes, of course. I cannot wait. But a big question we've always been asked was how we survive the distance. So we wanted to help you guys out because a lot of you are going through the same thing for how to survive a long distance relationship. Ours was especially tough because I was on Pacific Standard Time. So I was three hours back. So there were so many obstacles with that and class schedules, but we always managed to somehow make time for each other throughout the day. To send each other like surprise things in the mail when we were thinking about them, and I used to write Steph cards like all the time and set, try and send her something at least like once every few days. But a big thing for long distance relationships especially that I would give is always to schedule time because even if you're having a really hectic day, the big comfort that I would always have is knowing, okay, at this time I'm going to Skype Madison. What I suggest for any long distance relationship, whether you're old or young or have been with each other for years or a few days or you've met before or you haven't, is definitely making that time to have that connection even when you're not physically there. And I think that really shows how much you can love a person. If you don't need even, I mean, I do need you always. Need you. I, I totally, I totally need to see you every day. I was like, oh God. Kiss you every day. Thank you. I was like, but I feel like finding love and appreciating the conversation and the dialogue is essential. The secret to our successful relationship? Skype sleepovers. Oh yeah, we always would fall asleep on Skype all the time. And I think that is something that, you know, doesn't cost money, doesn't like cost any time, but partners in a relationship can do and it really does work mm -hmm. and it really does make a big difference. Yeah, definitely. What else? I was gonna, I had something, I had something really good and I'm forgetting it. I think that's a problem most of the time is like with long distance relationships you just feel so alone and for example like it was like I had my birthday and I was in Portland but it was right after we were in New York City but Stephanie didn't make me feel alone she did all these little things like sent me flowers and cupcakes and balloons because I was that kid in middle school who never got any balloons and all their friends did and she remembered so it's really like those things and not have like not allowing your partner to feel like they're miles and miles away. I had something and now I can't remember what it was. Oh, I have Madison's favorite Henley and she has my favorite UCF sweatshirt. So she always would spray her Henley with her perfume and I would spray my sweatshirt with mine and I would sleep with it every night. So that way when I was seeing her on Skype, I also had to smell her and it's very cozy and it made me very happy. Yeah, so you can Skype each other while watching the same movie. So it's like a movie date. You can both order the same type of takeout so that way you're having dinner together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what Stephanie and I do sometimes too is like she orders me takeout and I order her takeout. So that way I can take you out to dinner when you're not here. I love the surprises. I think the biggest thing also to remember is there's going to be days where the distance becomes very hard and feels almost unbearable, but mm -hmm. I always think it's important to keep in mind that love is measured in quality, not in miles. We're extremely fortunate that, it, that like we both could really make this work and see each other when we could, mm -hmm. and I think that made things a lot easier. And I think it's really good actually starting relationships with long distance because you don't take for granted the little things. Mm -hmm. You really value each and every second that you That was spend. what I forgot and you remembered. Yeah. Look! Thank you for remembering for me. Yeah. The distance was really hard, but... I mean, I wouldn't change it or the way we had our relationship set out for the world because it it's what made us who we are today and our relationship as strong as it is. And now I feel like we can take on anything. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Have you ever been in a long distance relationship? Have you ever thought about it? Leave a comment below on your opinion on the subject. I read them all. Also, if you have not subscribed to our girlfriend channel, we also post videos every single week and we actually just made a video doing the first time tags. If you want to check out that video, the linky link will be down here. Um, don't forget to subscribe to me for more stuff. <laughs> yes, I love you all. Have a fantastic day. Bye.